in um, thinking about and planning the food truck rally, I, um, you know, I met with lots of different vendors, formed relationships with um, a lot of different guys that and women that own trucks. And when coming up with the concept of having a food truck rally in Sherman, um, you know, we wanted for the store, everyone was going to park outside the store for the store. I wanted to feature three different desserts each time we did it. Um, that were meaningful to us and that I thought everyone would love and enjoy. So um, for the food truck rally, one of the desserts that we featured was Mimi's chocolate pie. Um, if you know me at all, you know that most of my recipes are Mimi's. They all start with the word Mimi. It's, it's kind of funny. but So I wanted to feature Mimi's chocolate pie. Um, one, so I just want to kind of very quickly run through how to make Mimi's chocolate pie. But I, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you the recipe here in just a little bit, but I just wanted to share with you a few things that I learned from Mimi, um, in her kitchen when, you know, obviously she didn't use recipes and I had to write down everything that she would do. But these are the things that I learned just by being next to her and, and watching her. So, one of the things that Mimi always did um, and always had, she always had pie crust ready in her refrigerator. And the other thing she always had was a, it was a green glass um, cup in her refrigerator that always had cold water in it. And that glass, that green glass with cold water was just for her pie crust. So because she made a pie every single day or a cake, but a pie mostly, because Peppa loved pie. So, um, I learned how to make pie crust um, from her every day. So what she would do is she would pull that cold water out and when she made her pie crust, um, it was just, it was just habit. It was just, you know, going through the motions and getting it done. But one thing I wanted to show you and I'll give you the recipe in a little bit, but one of the things I wanted to show you is, you know, a lot of people get intimidated by rolling out the pie crust. So, um, it's not a difficult thing. It's like cutting a pineapple. It's like, you know, there's a lot of things that people get intimidated by just because they've never done it. And pie crust is basically four ingredients. It's so simple. Um, it's easy to do. If you have a food processor, it's very quick to make. So, um, the one thing to get the perfect pie crust, um, that I say is literally once you put it on your counter, um, on your flour, as you've seen, as I've been talking, I've just been kind of, you know, pushing it out, but I've been keeping this circle, you know, and I'll go back through and do my edges and keep my circle. And it's not until I get it to about this space that I start rolling. And I'll roll, you always want to cover, make sure your rolling pin is covered. You're going to roll from the inside out and you're going to um, give equal amounts of roll to every single corner of this round so that you're keeping a consistent um, thickness to your pie crust and you can always go around and feel it like this to make sure you've got the the right consistency so then when you get to this point you literally just fold it in half and then you fold that in half then you bring your pie plate over here and you just lay it in and it makes it so much more simple to get it to go where you want it to go. The other thing about pie crust is you don't, it's very forgiving once you get it in this pie plate. So um, I'm going to go around and push it up on the sides and then all of this access, I, unless it's a huge amount of excess, I don't cut it. I just roll it under and then create my edges. So I'm rolling to create an edge. I like thick crust edges. Um, I like a good a good bite of, of crust um, and I love the saltiness with the sweetness. So and at this point is when you would start to make your pretty edge. So you just take your two fingers like this, push it in, turn, 
push it in. Very simple. You know, because when this bakes off, people don't see this. You don't have to be perfect, but just make a pretty edge. So whenever you're making a cream pie, which is what we're going to make, a, a coconut cream pie, a chocolate cream pie, any of those things, you're going to pre-bake your pie crust. So um, once you get to the stage, you're going to pop this in the oven. Um, if you're making a pecan pie or something like that, you would put your filling in while the pie crust is raw. But um, since we're doing chocolate pie today, I'm going to pop this in the oven. So.